Right, in this video we're going to look at um, proportionality that comes up towards the end of the higher um, examination paper. So this uh, sort of squiggle here uh, uh, stands for is proportional to. Um, so I won't write down y is proportional to. This squiggle means y is proportional to x. And what that actually means then is that y equals something times x. If we move on to y is proportional to x squared. This means that y equals something times x squared and then finally the third one that tends to come up is y um, is proportional to the square root of x so this means y equals kx so to start these questions off you have to be able to either interpret this sign here or the words y is proportional to x or y is proportional to x squared and you interpret it by writing down the appropriate equation the second part of these questions so let's take y equals kx would be to give you some information about x and y. So it might say to you that when x equals 5, y equals 10. And then it might say um, find the value of y when x equals another value, say 7. So to do this, first thing you have to do is to find k with the information that you're given here about x and y. You can't do the second part of the question until you've worked out k, or the, or the question itself without the value of k. So you substitute in the value of 10 for y and 5 for x, but put the 5 in front of the k. Just, we always write the numbers in front of the letters. So 10 equals 5k, so we've worked out then that k equals 2. So this means the relationship we're looking at is that y equals 2x. So then it's relatively simple to finish off because um, x equals 7 can be put into this equation. So when x equals 7, y will equal 2 times 7, y will equal 14. And for the rest of the questions, it's really a similar process, just uh, dealing with different equations. 1 equals kx squared, and y equals k root x. So we'll look at y equals kx squared. So if y is proportional to x squared, and we're given the information that x equals 3, and y equals 45, I will show you how to find k. So what we write is y equals kx squared. We then substitute in the values of y, which is 45, equals k times 3 squared. And we then solve this equation in k. So 45 will equal k times 9, and you should realise straight away that k is equal to 5. Uh, and then we'll look at, so again, the question might say to you um, what's the value of y when x equals something, or what's the value of y when x equals something. You have to find out the value of k first. So if, if it was put to us, you know, find um, x when y equals, say, 90, then we would have 90 equals... 5x squared, so then we'd have 90 divided by 5, so 18 equals x squared, and then we'd have the square root of 18 would equal our x value. So we'll move on to the um, last part of the question. If y, or last part of this example, if y is proportional to the square root of x, well again we'll find k when if x equals 100 and y equals 30 is given, we'll find k. So to do that, we'll substitute in 30. Well, actually, we'll write down what this means first, just so you're sure what I'm doing. K, y equals k times the square root of x. So, one, sorry, so 30 is going to equal k times the square root of 100. So 30 will equal 10 k, so k will equal 3. So those are the types of things you're going to get with what's called direct proportionality.
Uh, hope this has helped.